What's up guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword and Shield, but uh, this episode is going to be a little bit different. I have lost the Audacity audio that I used uh, while I was playing, so I am going to actually be commentating uh, my gameplay after I've already played it. Um, unfortunately, Pokemon does hard saves and I can't replay any section of the game, uh, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And with that, we are going to just cut the fat right here and uh, get into the video. All right, so we're exiting the Pokemon Center. Pretty sure I was just in there to make sure the Pokemon are healed up for the gym challenge. And there we go, we have Yamper, Bowark. Nice to see you, little buddy. All right, let's go up here and talk to, well, I guess this person. It doesn't appear to seeing it yourself still. Looking at the photos enough to bring back a rush of emotions and memories, am I right? Yamper, bow wow wow. Yip yo yip yay. Bow wow wow yip yo yip yay. Yamper. Alright, we're definitely going to pick up these items here. I don't think we uh three X attacks. There we go. If we want to do a Magikarp only run, we have the uh, X attacks. Or are they times attack? I mean what do you guys say? Do you say times or X? Uh, Leaf Stone, gonna pick that up. Never gonna use that this entire playthrough. I'm gonna be saying that just about every item and TM we pick up. And here she is, um, Sonia. For some odd reason, I always want to call Sonia Juniper. Don't know why. She must just remind me of Juniper. She gives off Juniper vibes. Female professor, you know. Uh, I think Juniper. Yeah, Juniper was a female professor. All right, so that geoglyph. What do you think of it? I think Dynamax? Seems likely. It certainly looks like a gigantic Pokemon. I suppose people 3,000 years ago could have just imagined this, but it looks too similar to Dynamax. It can't be a coincidence. Yeah. A long time ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. A giant Pokemon ran rampant. Uh, but what was it? To the blackest day? What connection does Dynamax have? Let me twirl my hair. Uh, I guess the lucky lady could be doing that. Sure gives me something. I can't read that fast. <laughs> I don't know. This was probably just me like uh, clicking through, complaining about the story like I usually do. All uh, right, uh, pretty bad. Two revives. There we go. We will, we will be using those items in the playthrough. We will be using revives. All right, Yamper. Yeah, what a cute guy. All right, yeah, and if this, uh, I don't know. I'm, I've been having some trouble with audacity. I think I need to just start bottle of fresh water. Who leaves a... I mean, I guess someone, like, came there and they were like, oh, they have water fountains. I don't need this bottle of water. I'll just leave it here. Um, if, if this audacity uh, doesn't work this time, I'm probably just going to record in OBS um, all at the same time while the video is playing on the display capture. Look at there. And I'm not old enough yet to be Stone Journer. You must be this tall to ride that ride. All right. And we get down on one knee to talk to the kid. Pretty cool. Yeah, um, I think I just need to start restarting my computer more often. I leave my computer on, like, way too long, especially for being, like, a laptop and not a desktop. It's probably not meant to. Well, like, it's probably trying to update things while it's still on. I don't know, probably something weird like that. All right, we're going to go back in here and... Oh, yes, we found a nickname for Meowth for uh, our future Perserker. Uh, the nickname is going to be... Um, if you are an anime fan, you will definitely catch this reference, but, uh, decided to name it Thor, not just Thor, Thor Finn, from the anime about Vikings. I figured, you know, why not name, uh, our little Viking Meowth boy Thor Finn after, uh, after the main character. Pretty good anime, you should go watch it too. All right, and uh, we missed that item. I, I've seen this video like three times, so I know I missed that item. Uh, we do pick it back up later, whenever I walk by again. An Everstone, once again. Not gonna be using an Everstone. I know there are strats. All right, and we got Brutal Swing. We will probably be using this TM. Um, this is, I think Brutal, I, I think I check it here, actually. <laughs> yeah, Brutal Swing is a dark type move. Okay, sorry, I had to click to expand the screen there while I was watching it. Yeah, so Panda Brand will probably be able to use that later on. I don't think he's able to use it yet. I did check uh, 
I think, on that screen previously that you saw. And here we go. Uh, sorry, but Team Yoke paused quite the kerfluffle. Kerfluffle. Just let that sink in there. I'm pretty sure I had a lot more funny jokes whenever I first saw that word. My reaction to that word was probably much better. <laughs> but hey, we don't get that because I just uh, constantly have issues with audio. But that's okay. That's all right. You know, I'm still learning. This is only literally like what my... I don't know how many in video. I haven't even made like 20 videos on this channel. I think my audio is a lot to be bad. Max Revive. We'll definitely use that. Someday. Hopefully we don't have to use it anytime soon. Milo doesn't just work in the fields. He also raises beautiful flowers. What a stand-up great guy, Milo. Alright. Um, we're going to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up Thorfinn. Because we don't want to use our items, right? Alright. Nice hard cut here. Back to Hop. Take a look at this, Pillow. The Grass Gym Badge. I got it in one try. It kind of defeats the purpose of it being a real gym challenge if, you're, if you were allowed to try as many times as you want. Also, that was fast for Hop. I just, like, during just the brief conversation I had with uh, Sonya, he beat the whole gym. Nice. Good job. And here's Ball Guy. We forgot to talk to Ball Guy before, back whenever we were in Mono Stoke. So we're not going to miss the opportunity to get free Pokeballs, um, even though they're not really too great at uh, this level that he's giving it to us. I think eventually he does give us better Pokeballs, but uh, usually just gimmick balls. Nothing really good, like the Friend Ball, Heal Ball, and stuff like that. Um, this part, we look through the uniforms. We don't find any we want, so we will trim this part out. Uh, I think the uniforms are corny. <laughs> not cool. Yeah, uh, corny because they are type-based uniforms, um, and I think, uh, you know, anyone who actually plays Pokemon knows not to balance your team around one type, because that's the opposite of balancing. So we're definitely not going to buy any of them. Why waste our money on that whenever we can, uh, I don't know, spend money on buying Ultra Balls or Great Balls or more medicine for our Pokemon? Alright, here we go. Gym challenge awaits us. Let's see. What do we have? Usually first gyms are a joke in Pokemon. You just walk like around some obstacles. Uh, but in this one they actually make you do something, which I appreciate. I like this gym. I have fond memories of this gym, not only from the time I did it this time that you're watching, but the time that I first played the game, I, I thought this gym was fun. It's simple, but it's fun. And man, look at that hairline. <laughs> I, I laugh every time I see that guy. Like, whew, boy, son, my guy. That hair's... Just go bald. You know? Just go bald. I don't... I don't see what's wrong with being bald, man. Like, you gotta get rid of it whenever it starts to do that. Bald is beautiful. I, you know, if I started balding, that if my hairline got that bad, I would definitely just shave it. I, you know, embrace it. So basically, all we do here is uh, push the woo-woo, and uh, 2020 was uh, confirmed by Pokemon. Scary thought there. If you think about it for too long. Um, honestly, if you think about anything for too long, it starts to become scary. Now we have Yampers that try to scare away the woo-woo, but this one just walks in a circle, so it's no problem for us. 2020 again. <laughs> Reminds me of the meme uh, whenever, uh, you know, December ends. It's just 2020, the sequel. Alright, and here we go. We have this little jerk. Hate this guy. Uh, the reason I hate this guy is because we are wearing the same pair of glasses, and uh, if you take a close look at his stupid face, you'll see that his glasses actually have the sides on them. They have the actual things that hold the glasses up, whereas my character, my main character, doesn't. My Pokemon. Pokemon. Game Freak. Nintendo. Whoever I gotta talk to, please fix this. As someone who wears glasses, I'm not even gonna commentate on this match. I'm just going to literally talk about this. As someone who wears glasses, it would make no sense to not have the sides that connect back and basically, you know, around your ears that hold up the glasses to your face. And it, it offends me. Not really. 
I think we all have much more important things to get offended about. Obviously, I'm destined. So where are we at? We're using Payday. I'm probably going to skip out on Payday here soon. It's nice to use it this low level to just get a little bit of extra cash than what you normally would have. Um, probably, you know, using it consistently, I won't. He does have a pretty smile, though. A little nice anime smile, but I still hate him. I hate his guts and his twin brother that we're going to be seeing here soon. Also, hate him. Uh, yeah, we'll just have a little bit of money, but it's not... Payday is not going to make a difference. Uh, and I tried to look into it. I think Dynamaxing while you use Payday doesn't like give you super money or anything either. I think that's only the special Meowth that does that, uh, that you get from the train station, if I believe correctly. And here he is again, making me look at him twice. It's the same guy. Not complaining. Uh, complaining about the glasses, though. All right. Um, let's see here. We have up to do. We are just going to, uh, I think we Hone Claw, or do we Metal Claw? I don't know, I probably was talking about that here. Uh, yeah, we're going to Hone Claws. So the reason we did that is because he has two Pokemon. So if we can stack, you know, one or two Hone Claws, we're probably going to wipe this Pokemon and just whatever he brings out next, wipe that too. don't think I have to do it. I was just kind of having fun experimenting, seeing how strong, you know, a Metal Claw can get. I think Metal Claw also has a chance to raise attack by itself. I don't know if it, it doesn't proc every time, but it does have a chance to proc. There we go, we knocked out the Badoon in one hit, so that's great. Uh, gained a little bit of XP, and next up we have Oddish, basically uh, Badoo before it was Badoo. Really? And uh, I think we won, no, we don't one shot Oddish, right? Yeah, we don't, uh, but we got it down enough to where we can kill it with uh, two hits. Uh, I was a little worried. I was like, oh, is Absorb, how much is it going to get back? But then I remembered, you know, Absorb only takes, like, what, 15% of however much damage that you've done to the Pokemon and heal it back to you. We finish him off with another Metal Claw and end this battle swiftly. And Thorfinn gets a level up. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty stellar there. Another nice, uh, nice cute smile. Bowark, he says. And a pro gamer move here, uh, you can just beat the trainer and then the amper goes away it's instead of just trying to push the sheep past the amper. Just go fight the trainer anyway, you want to get the XP, it's going to be faster if you just fight the trainer right away. Pro tip, I don't give many of those. Alright, bust through again with the third 2020. No wait, is this the third? Yeah, I think this is the third time. Um, and once again right here, if we beat this young lady, both of the Amber will go straight to her and stop sh uh, scaring our uh, Wulu. Gym Leader lies ahead of you. Good luck reaching him. Gym Trainer Leah. I remember Leah being... Uh, she says something pretty nice after we beat her. But, uh, right, we have Bon Sweet. Very, uh, French. I, I think every time you say Bon Sweet, you have to feel like you have a French accent. Every time. Say it right now, wherever you are. Say bon sweet. Can't help it. All right, we have. Uh, I'm gonna turn my laptop audio down, actually, just to make sure we're not getting any extra um, extra noise from the laptop getting picked up by the mic here. Bon sweet's speed rose. That doesn't matter though because uh, it's dead. Basically Thorfinn through this whole gym is kind of going to be my tanky Pokemon. Uh, we'll see that in the battle with Milo too. Uh, Thorfinn is just he's not going to get killed by pretty much anything, right? <laughs> he's not going to like die in the Milo fight. No way. Um, and we have Oddish here, Oddish's attack, and Speed Rose, but it doesn't matter. Oddish doesn't have anything in its arsenal attack-wise that we would have to worry about, plus we outspeed it. So, easy peasy lemon squeezy. We got two Pokemon at level 20, Thorfinn's. I would like Thorfinn to break that threshold soon, which does not happen in this episode for, uh foreshadowed reasons. All right, and there she is with two Yambers, and uh, I think this is the nice thing she says in the gym here. But there's something that shines about you, I think that's what she said. Uh, but yeah, super nice. Nicest character I've met in this game so far. She's not like Hop. Hop is just a kind of 
yeah, I kind of struggled here with the Wulu, um, but whatever, we'll come back to get that other one. Definitely nicer than Lee. I think Lee is the biggest jerk. Um, always talking about how he is the undefeated champion. No one can beat him. 1920. That's a little bit different than 2020. I think there was a plague. I think there was a plague in the 20s, uh, the Roaring Twenties. What was... I forget what the plague is, and I'm too embarrassed to try to guess because I'll probably just sound stupid. Man, this one Lulu is unruly. Alright, 2020, and we get through. Can we get through 2020? Well, we did. Now it's just trying to get through 2021. Alright, let's see here. Going up to fight Milo. Alright, all we did there was uh, heal up uh, Thorfinn, made sure all of his lost HP was gained back, and we gave him and Panda Moran both an Orin Berry whilst Nyquil is holding the Mystic Water. And with that, uh, we start this off. I love, I love the gym battles in this game. I don't really care what anyone says about any uh, anything. The whole motif of the gym battles being in this stadium, being a big public event, uh, it's so cool. I, I, I really, I don't know, Pokemon got me on that one, guys. <laughs> I think it's really cool, really fun. Uh, you know, walking out of that little stadium like that, it's, oh man, it, it gets me every time. I'm like, oh man, this is about to be act an actual thing first face. Uh, so we have a lot of challengers. That's why I try to keep my gym mission simple, I think is what he said. Uh, completing a pro pillowed proper job. Yeah, sure, like you understand Pokemon real well. The doozy battle. Dynamax Pokemon. Yes, we will be able to Dynamax Pokemon. I think this is the first time, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is the first time we're going to Dynamax in the game is against Milo. Um, I don't know if we do an excellent job at it. I think I forgot that Dynamax moves all have a special effect and they're not just wicked strong. So here we go. Who knows what his first Pokemon is going to be, am I right? Yeah. Oh, also Milo has fidget spinners. Also that, that's really cool. Dynamax Pokemon in the Gala region, Pokemon can become far larger than usual certain, oh, nope, I knew I couldn't make it. <laughs> Anyway, yep, it's only lasts for three turns. Uh, basically, Pokemon Company was like, how can we get rid of Mega Evolutions and get rid of Z-Moves while keeping Mega Evolutions and keeping Z-Moves? And uh, they found a way to do it. And honestly, I think Dynamax is a little bit cooler um, game mechanic-wise. Game mechanics, mechanically speaking, Dynamax is cooler than uh, Mega Evolutions or uh, Z-Moves. Uh, I, I think those other two were a little bit more game-breaking. I think Dynamax is... <laughs> I know somebody will be like, no, you're wrong. But I think Dynamax is a, a lot more interesting and cool, and uh, I don't think as game-breaking. I don't think. I mean, that's also kind of a casual's opinion. I know Z-moves were just one-shot kill moves, and some Mega Evolutions were just absolutely busted. Mega Kangaskhan, looking at you, that thing got banned so fast. Uh, but yeah, I think I think Dynamax is better than both of those, mechanically speaking. From a look, speaking looks-wise, and there we go, we knocked Gossifler out with the Payday. I'm very proud of that. And I was like, I know I could kill it with Metal Ball, but can I kill it with Payday? And I did, and I got paid for it. So I'm happy about that. Woohoo! We're not going to be done in that easy. We're tough as weeds. Alright, cool. Grass puns for days. Makes sense. But uh, anyway, what was I talking about? <laughs> um, aesthetically speaking, I think Dynamaxing is the lamest thing uh, they could have added to the game. I don't think it looks cool. I don't think it's interesting or neat. I think the idea of having your Pokemon grow to kaiju building size is not fun because then, like, how in the world, like, if you were battling a trainer in, I don't know, in a house or, you know, in, underground in sewers in a cave or something, and then your Pokemon does this, that's, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. It, I don't, 
I don't know, I don't like the whole actual growing larger thing. And I don't like it whenever they change their forms either, because I think Pokemon already have too many forms. Looking at you, Charizard. They did not need to give Charizard another dynam uh, another form. That was ridiculous. I'm just kind of ranting. I'm not even... I just have to add commentary, I guess. Maybe I should do this more. Tell me if you like this style of I'm not really... Uh, <laughs> I'm not going into the battles in super detail or anything. I'm just kind of talking about what comes into my head. And that's honestly what would probably be happening in my head while I was playing these games. Alright, what do we have? Okay, um... Max Overgrowth. Uh, so basically, I didn't know what that did at first. I thought it only healed, um, oh, what's his name? Gossifler? It's not Gossifler. It's, uh, well, I used my Orenberry. I'm very happy. The Orenberry I gave Thorfinn came through. It really came through, actually, like, in a max steel spike. I think that ups defense. Eldegoss, that's its name. Yeah, I thought at first Max Overgrowth, the terrain benefit only healed Eldegoss, but I think it also heals Thorfinn too, so I mean that is just, I don't think that's very beneficial. <laughs> just both Pokemon getting healed, like, alright, it's like, might as well not heal both of the Pokemon and do a different move that like, you know, will give you a stat boost or something. And right here I was just reading that up, making sure I understood exactly what it did. And uh, right there, yep, we got a lot of buffs on Thorfinn. Uh, I keep wanting to say Meowth, but I want to try to use their nicknames. And uh, Max Darkness. Doesn't make sense to do Max Darkness or uh, Max Strike. Um, just because uh, I think... Well, we don't actually outspeed it, but so maybe Max Strike would have been a good idea. But lowering his uh, special defense with Max Darkness doesn't make any sense because we are physically attacking it. There we go. And one more good shot ought to do Eldegoss in. But I think Eldegoss ends up KOing Thorfinn. Uh, Max Steel Spike. So it probably would have been a good idea to use Max Strike to try to outspeed Eldegoss. I don't know how high its speed actually is, but it hits it with a max overgrowth, and I think this kills. Yeah, that's so weird. I did not expect that to kill. It's not very effect effective. Um, but hey, I guess Dynamax Pokemon Man, I guess. Uh, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with him getting the KO. It wasn't, like, detrimental. I was upset that he's not going to get the XP. Thorfinn is going to miss out on some XP. It's going to be a little harder to raise him up. So we take out Pandabram. Um, just knowing that I don't want to take out Nyquil against any grass Pokemon. Unless I absolutely have to, last ditch effort. But I think Pandabran is uh, gonna take him out here with a low sweep. No, I don't think we, I don't think we KO him yet. We don't KO him yet, not yet. <clears throat> I was a little scared whenever I saw how much damage uh, that round did, I was like, oh man, I hope we're able to kill this thing pretty quick, because if it outspeeds NyQuil, well, we could actually lose. Like, I was, at this point, I was thinking, like, okay, there's there's actually a chance. But, uh, nope. He's not really strong enough, and we are able to do enough damage to him. Probably shouldn't have went for Arm Thrust there, because, uh, if, if Arm Thrust wasn't strong enough to kill him with one hit, and it only did one hit, we would be in a pretty bad position there. Alright, and we defeated Milo. Good job, Milo. And grass is wilted. Yep. More uh, puns? More grass puns from Milo. I wish I saw Milo spin his fidget spinners more. I, I think that's so, so much fun. That would be so much fun. Allow me to present you with your very own grass badge. Let's shake on it. Big hands, Milo. Man, Milo is swole. Milo works out. Not only that, but he's also sweet and caring because he raises flowers. That's what the lady at the flower shop said anyway. She probably just has a crush on Milo. Alright. Go and gather more. And we're able to catch Pokemon up to level 25. That is going to be a good thing. Going back out into the wild area. We got Magical Leaf. I uh, don't know why I'm trying to get super hype about Magical Leaf. 
Um, no one on our team can use that. And we got grass uniform. No one on our team is to use that. Some advice for you, Pillow. The gym challenge is as a set order. Next up is Holberry. We're gonna go fight Nessa. Nessa is a pretty fun fight too. All right, they're Pokemon higher level on your team, but they make powerful allies if you succeed. And with that, we are going to go out um, where the Kerfluffle was happening last time. Oh, but first we're going to heal. Be right back. All right, and we are back. Uh, and we found the item that we forgot before, Energy Root. Don't think we're going to be using that in the playthrough either, but that's okay, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm going to skip healing Pokemon at Pokemon Centers unless I'm actually talking about something really, really cool or really fun or like I'm really in the heat of the moment. I'm going to just skip it. All right, and here we have the uh, interviewer cameraman duo. I think that started in like, mm, I want to say Ruby and Sapphire, right? And they would ask you the question after you're done, like, oh, hey, what do you think of X and Y? And I was like, that's a future Pokemon game. You're not just using that as some sort of vernacular to insert a random thought into a word, are you? And now I'm just talking about weird stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, double battles. Here we go. Um, I was really worried about this. We have Nyquil and Thorfinn. Uh, Thorfinn's going to be perfectly fine. He's about the same level and steel, but I saw uh, Helioptile. Helioptile? I think that's how you pronounce it. And we have Nyquil out, so I'm pretty scared of this Helioptile. I'm like, I really don't want you to faint any of my Pokemon. Mm, have me miss out on the precious XP in this game, because I'm not going to be grinding. Uh, I think I've mentioned that before. I'm, I'm not going to grind XP at all. Like, unless it's absolutely necessary for me to win, I'm not going to do it. Like, that's just... I don't know. A little bit unfair. Um, I'm pretty surprised here we knocked out Helioptile, but Clink, the Steel-type, has an electric move and he decides to use it on my Steel-type rather than my Water-type. A little weird. A uh, little bit weird. Uh, I think the AI, uh, this playthrough, I had a lot of complaints with the AI. Um, one complaint was uh, this one right here. Clink just using an electric type move on Thorfinn doesn't make sense, like at all. Even like the most basic of human uh, copying, I guess, <laughs> like artificial intelligence should be able to know, <laughs> like hit a water type Pokemon with an electric type move. So I was like, I kind of felt cheated there. I was like, that should have been a little bit more interesting of a battle. Um, but I'm okay with that. I'm alright with it. I still understand that it's like early on in the game, so they're not gonna like crank the AI difficulty way up. Um, here we just have some random Pokemon. We have a Mincino, I think. I was contemplating getting one of those for this playthrough. Um, I know you can do some really fun stuff with its uh, one ability, but then I thought about it and I was like, man, if I have to like farm of another Pokemon for an ability, I'm not gonna be having fun. So I decided not to. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna probably just aim for Pokemon who are cool and good no matter what their ability or what their stats are because I don't wanna farm for that kind of stuff. At least not for this playthrough. I'm not gonna be playing professionally and I'm not gonna be playing competitively, at least not with these Pokemon. And here I actually forgot there is a daycare on this route. The only daycare that I use is uh, the one in the wild area, because that's better for the eggs. Uh, you have a lot more room to run around on your bike. It's just a lot more useful than this one. I guess you can use two though, so that's pretty cool. Uh, neat little thing in this game. This was actually an unexpected gym battle, or not gym battle, trainer battle. And uh, so my complaint with the AI, one of them was the previous battle that we were in. And the other one was the fact that Milo did not have potions. Milo was really, really low uh, HP-wise with, um, I think it was both of his Pokemon at some point. I think both of his Pokemon were like at red HP and he did not use potions. And I was upset about that a little bit. Not too upset because I won. So I'm happy that I won, but I was a little upset that Milo didn't provide a little bit more of a challenge by using uh, at least even a normal potion for 20 HP, I don't know. 
Uh, but in this battle, Joe Schmo Trainer Breeder Pokemon has uh, has potions that he uses, which just shocked me so much. You'll see it coming up here. I think I actually start to do some more damage, like actual damage to this stuff. Will. Yep, we get an attack boost. Um, so right now I'm thinking like, okay, this guy has three Pokemon. I'm going to get an attack boost and attack boost. And uh, we're going to stack attack and run through his team. I know you don't really have to do those kinds of strats, but we're going to try it. And he uses a potion. And that just... Oh, that upset me so much. I don't know why. <laughs> Is Milo not having a potion? Like, the gym leader not having a potion? But this trainer on Route 5 with a Stuffle has a potion? Like, and then the AI, but then the AI in the last fight didn't even want to do super effective attacks against me. It was a lot of inconsistency. A lot. Um, so Thorfinn knocks out Stuffle. Gets uh, about 200 XP, pretty good, and brings out Ralts. I'm thinking, okay, if I outspeed Ralts, he's probably going to be dead. He doesn't have high defense. I'm going to hit him with a Dark-type move. Um, but he uses Payback. And I think, yep, here it is. Uh, it's not very effective, but I became confused. And I really gambled on this one. <laughs> I did not think that I was going to die if I hit myself with confusion. Uh, well, I didn't actually gamble. No, that was already set because he hit first and then caused confusion, so I didn't choose to stay in with confusion. It just happened. But I guess my Thorfinn's attack was up so high that he just knocked himself out. But Nyquil comes in, and we're going to do the tried and true Water Pulse everything in the Galar region. Water Pulse to win. And I think it's going to stay that way with NyQuil for quite a while. I mean, it's a really high stab type attack and with a, ch with a chance to confuse, which I just got, you know, KO'd by confusion, so I'm like, a, I'm a believer. Uh, uh, Alright, and then we knock him out, and Thorfinn missed out on some good XP gains there, which I am I'm a little upset about. A little upset about, but we'll we'll make up for it. And right there, we just healed up. Uh, we healed up Thorfinn, and right there, we made the big mistake of saving the game. <laughs> oh man, I don't think I should save in Pokemon until I'm sure my audio and video are all 100% done. I know it auto saves, but I think you can turn that off in this game. If I'm not mistaken, I think you can turn it off. And here we have another breeder, Debra, and I think Debra also has a potion. She has a Mencino. Mencino uses Pound. Yes, a Mencino's ability I was speaking about earlier that I thought would be fun for the playthrough would be um, anything that, any move that he has that has multiple hits, uh, I think get powered up. I think that's what it is. Um, and then if you give him like a uh, scope lens or anything that ups the crit ratio of that, he has like a super high chance of critting. Um, it's it's something like that. Or multiple type moves have a chance of critting. It's something really fun. But uh, you can basically turn him into a crit crit demon. <laughs> All right, and here we have Nyquil getting a little bit ahead of everyone. And I don't want that to happen either. I don't want Nyquil to get super strong. Um, and all of my other Pokemon get left behind in the dust, and I become reliant on one Pokemon. But, uh, not very effective. Thorfinn, turning out to be a pretty good tank for our team. Able to stay in, and a lot of stuff. Uh, having a pure Steel type, there's not a lot that's gonna really wreck him. I'm sorry about that, that was not... There we go! Another potion. I... <laughs> I still think it's the craziest thing. Uh, looking back on it now, it's probably some sort of thing with these uh, breeder trainers. Um, it's probably some sort of theming like, oh, the breeder trainer loves their Pokemon so much that they're willing to heal them mid-battle, and that might be like the, I don't know, joke? <laughs> joke, I guess? Uh, 
I don't know, I, maybe I'm just nitpicking, maybe I'm looking for things to be upset about, but it didn't make a lot of sense. I don't think it makes sense for the gym leader to not have potions, but these guys out here on Route 5 too. Alright, Deborah. I like your plaid yellow shirt. I would totally wear that in real life. See a fishing spot? We're not going to go fishing because I think it's basically all of the same Pokemon. I think I mentioned that. I think all of the Pokemon that we've seen already, we can see in that fishing spot. I don't think it's anything new or interesting. And also another campsite back there, which we're not going to do. We have one more trainer battle. And what did I do that for? I don't know why I just stopped. Oh, I found a trainer and something. Stewart. Cook Stewart. Alright. How much do I remember about Stewart? Only a little. A Stewart little. Sorry. Alright. Uh, we have Appleton. Or, no, Applin. Applin. This is Applin. Appleton is the evolution. I like this Pokemon. <laughs> I think he's fun and different and interesting. Although he, turn he evolves into like a really big, slow, tanky Pokemon, which I kind of like big, slow, tanky Pokemon. I've always thought they're fun and like trolly. I'm not gonna be a pretty big troll in video games sometimes whenever I'm playing against other people. Uh, <laughs> we won't get into that though. Uh, let's just talk more about this. Basically gonna Metal Claw it. Uh, we have Astonish. He's not really doing anything. I don't think this guy's getting the tracks rolling. So we're just gonna go ahead and KO him with a Metal Claw here. Get the last little bit of XP boost on this route. Last little bit of XP for this video. Still did not level up, did not break the threshold to nine, er, to 20. And I should have given my Pokemon a berry when its HP was low. Tell me about it, that saved us uh, probably from getting KO'd a little bit earlier in the gym fight. All right, and with that, we are at the end of the video, and as we always do at the end of the video, I'm going to go over my pros and cons, and hopefully I can go over them faster than what the video actually has for the allotted time. Um, because I'm post-recording my commentary. Anyway, uh, pros. Let's start with that first. Pros was the gym battle. Man, I love the gym battle. It just, I think, the, like I said, the motif of going out into a giant, you know, stadium is fun and cool and interesting. Um, every time I get into a gym battle in this game, I always think it's fun. I always think it's cool. The music is also just, just chef's kiss. Mwah. Uh, it's amazing. That's going to be really loud kiss noise that I'm going to have to edit. Um, <laughs> cons. Uh, the cons, I would say, would probably be uh, the AI uh, being a little bit weird. Why did Milo not have a potion? Why did trainers on the routes have potions? And why did some trainers not choose to do super effective moves against me? That's a really small complaint. I know I've mentioned it a lot, but that's really the only thing I have to complain about. I was having a lot of fun whenever I played this. I do remember having a lot of fun. So I'm going to say I'm like an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 enjoyment level for Pokemon Shield. Alright, with that, uh, we're going to end the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share it with your friends, hit all the buttons, click the buttons twice if you have to. Uh, thank you once again for all your precious time. Bye!